Do you ever struggle with nighttime anxiety? As soon as your head hits the pillow, your mind starts racing with thoughts and you can't switch off? If that sounds like you, you are not alone. In this video, I will share seven tips to help you beat nighttime anxiety. And stay watching until the end for a special tip that really works for me. Hi, I'm Sophie Scott, a former TV reporter turned corporate wellbeing speaker. On this channel, I help midlife women overcome stress and be a peak performer without burning out. If you have nighttime anxiety, you might struggle to switch your mind off from thoughts, thinking about everything that you didn't get done that day. And this stress can cause you to experience an adrenaline rush, which makes it even harder to get to sleep. My first tip for you is to write out your thoughts. Keep a pen and paper handy, and before you get into bed, write out your to-do list for the next day. Because research shows this signals to your brain that you plan to get those tasks done. So that means you won't spend time worrying about them. Number two will help your body relax. Lie on your back and gently tense and release your muscles, starting at your feet, working your way up through your body. This progressive muscle relaxation can really help calm your body, which then helps calm your mind. Number three is all about breathing. This is something we talk about a lot on this channel. Get your nervous system ready for rest by doing some simple breathing exercises. Close your eyes, you inhale for four seconds, Breathe out slowly for six seconds. Repeat again and again. Now the key there is making sure that your exhale is longer than your inhale. Number four is to put on some white noise, such as the noise of the ocean crashing or gentle rain. Often it can be the quiet that causes your mind to become really overactive with thoughts and putting on white noise can block that quiet out. Number five is about developing a bedtime routine and sticking to it. Your brain likes predictability and regularity, so work out what time you need to be awake in the morning to get some movement and meditation and then work backwards to set your bedtime. For me, I like to be asleep by about 9.30, so I start to get ready for bed about nine. Establishing a sleep schedule like that keeps your circadian rhythms, which is your body clock, in check. When you go to bed and wake up at the same time, you actually find it easier to get to sleep at night. Number six is about avoiding stimulants like tea or coffee after lunchtime. While a morning coffee is okay and it's fine, I actually love having a coffee in the morning, having caffeine after midday is much more likely to interfere with your sleep routine. So stick to herbal tea or a decaf tea at night instead. Number seven, I would love you to read something uplifting or happy before bed. No horror stories. Just read a couple of pages of an uplifting book to get your mind off any anxious thoughts. Now here's that bonus tip that I mentioned. Follow what's called the 333 rule. And this is a good way to disrupt anxious thinking. It's a grounding exercise called the 333 rule. You identify three things you can see, three things you can hear, and three gentle ways you can move your body. I'd love you to give it a go. And if you've watched until now, put a star emoji in the comments and let me know which tip you're going to try first. And remember, if no one else has told you today, I'm proud of you. I'll see you in the next video.